Nearly a month into the new school year and the Edmonton Public School Board is saying nearly 80% of their schools have a COVID case. 573 COVID-19 cases uh, in 165 of our schools. So that's 78% of our schools have a case of COVID. Just as alarming, Estabrook says 70% of active COVID cases are in children in grades K to 6, the age where vaccine use has not yet been approved. So we have 57,000 elementary students, K to 6, that um, aren't eligible to receive the vaccine, and that is where we're seeing the bulk of our COVID-19 cases. The dire number of COVID cases inside these schools underscored Monday as the Alberta Teachers Association put out a statement in support of a vaccine mandate for teachers and staff, saying the government has done nothing to help those in schools. Absolute vacuum and void of leadership and responsibility right now in terms of the pandemic. And so in absence of that, and the fact that the government has made no indications about whether or not they would do anything like this, the association is trying to be proactive in this measure. Jason Schilling tells me that while the teachers union cannot mandate vaccines for its members, they say individual school boards and the government of Alberta can. And when it comes to protecting students not yet eligible to be vaccinated, Esta Brooks is calling for the province for more open communication. The Board of Trustees recently wrote quite a strong letter to the Minister of Education and the Minister of Health asking for a reinstatement of contact tracing in our schools, asking for mandatory isolation of positive contacts in our schools, and the big one, Share the data and the information that you have about positive cases in our school. Late Tuesday afternoon, Premier Jason Kenney telling Albertans the highest rate of case growth was in rural unvaccinated children aged 5 to 11. Alberta's chief medical officer says that in response to rising COVID case numbers in schools, the province is working on a new reporting framework. As I mentioned last week, we are working hard with education on an outbreak reporting framework for schools. And I hope to be able to update you on this very soon. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.